Rooks came in, uh, traveled Monday. We did our conditioning test Tuesday with them. We got them on the field Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday, and then yesterday was kind of a recovery day for their for them. And then uh, yesterday we did our conditioning test with the veterans. Um, we said, I mean, as long as I've been here, this was the best that we've had from a weigh-in, from a conditioning test, and I mean, guys are uh, really worked hard during the summer. Didn't have any issues. Have a hero on the coaching staff, but other than that. Um, it was a good summer, so um, you know we just finished with our first practice. As you guys know, we're we're in the we, we have an acclimation period before we put pads on, so pads won't go on until Sunday. So we've got uh, two practices, uh, you know, t uh, actually Monday rather, t tomorrow and Sunday uh, that'll be similar to what we did today. So things are good. There's a we had a few guys that you know we're kind of holding back a little bit. Uh, Chris came in with a little low back tightness, and he'll be okay in a couple of days, and then. We're still kind of following up on, on some of the rehabs, but um, by and large, and generally speaking, very impressed with what we were able to accomplish uh, during the off-season rehabs. Um, we're easing guys back into, you saw Brian kick quick, you saw TJ. Uh, we're still a few days away from getting uh, Mark in, Mark back on the knee, but um, the only PUP um, candidate we had that after a long discussion was Cody. Then Cody will be ready in probably you know ten days. With he came off a calf off the OTAs, and then of course the big story is Todd. And you know Todd ran. He he did a great job on the conditioning test. He's not a hundred percent. He's not ready to play in a game right now. But our our feeling was, and the decision was based on the importance for him to be able to participate not only in the walkthroughs, which is permissible, but also in the individual stuff. And then we'll just kind of add things as we move forward. So timetable wise, I don't know, but uh, very, very encouraged as to where he is right now. Did he do some individual stuff today? He did, yes. He did, yes. You're, this is obviously not your first rodeo. Is there still, can you talk about maybe, I don't know, is there is still a level of excitement of the, the first day of camp for you? Oh yeah, I mean, you know, because of the fact that we had the conditioning test yesterday, we had all of our administrative meetings and things, it doesn't feel like today was the first day of camp, but you know, the first day of camp, I, it really, I think, it takes shape when you see the guys walk out with pads on. You know, that really becomes, because this is pretty much just a repeat of the OTAs that we've done from an installation standpoint. So just um, overall, though, big picture, very pleased with the condition and the athleticism and the energy um, of this football team. They're um, very excited. To, to get back. Look like Foles had a pretty good day. Nick had a good day, yeah. Um, you know, it's usually the first couple days of camp, you, you, you tip your hat towards the defensive side. They usually have the advantage. That wasn't the case today. Nick did a nice job. Are you uh, uh, are you hopeful that, that something can be done with Nick? Apparently you guys are talking to his people contract-wise. There's some discussions, yeah, and that makes sense. And, and he's not the only one we're talking with. We're talking with a number of our players right now and their representatives. But, so. Yeah, we're we're you know we're heading down that path, and so I'm really not involved in it other than I'd like to see us get something worked out at some point with him. Jeff, is it important to get some of those done just because of the volume of guys that you have that could be free after this year? To try to get some guys done earlier. Yeah, them. yeah. I mean, it's important, and you know, it's important to them as well. But um, each and every situation is different, you know, with respect to the particular players and the positions, and you know, and you know what they're what their contribution, their performance has been to this point. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's an ongoing process. It's, it's nothing new. I think everybody's doing it. You know, you're all, everybody in the league's talking to their younger players to try to get a feel for what the potential is to get, you know, contracts extended. All the players seem to come in in, in such good shape. And in your, your time as a head coach and in the league, is it, has it always been that way? You know, I, I told them yesterday that I've not, this has been by far, um, the from a result standpoint it's been the best since we've been here when you talk about weight when you talk about off-season improvement and then you talk about a conditioning level and a conditioning test that they blew away and as the rookies did as well i mean you know when you've got guys like you know and i mentioned this to the group isaiah Pede and you know greg robinson and roger saffold and alex Barron that you know, been here really since the start of the offseason, rehabbing, surgeries. I, Isaiah's in, a, in his 10th month after an ACL. And to see what they've been able to do out here 
in the conditioning test and on the practice field. It's a tribute to them and it's a tribute, um, you know, to the training staff and the medical staff. So everybody's worked hard. They're, you know, they they know it's important and it's we're taking this. Hey, this is a this is a one-time opportunity for this football team. When uh, you look around the league, there's always maybe whatever it might be a half a dozen players that get in trouble with the law, or this year there were fireworks. Until you get these guys on campus, is a little bit of you have your fingers crossed that, that it won't be you from from year to year. We were, I mean, we were in touch with them. Um, you know, I I I failed them from the standpoint of I talked to them about wave runners and four wheelers and jet skis and driving fast and all those things, and I forgot to talk to them about fireworks. <laughs> So uh, fortunately, we we dodged that bullet. But um, now they understand. I mean, they I, I think they have a good feel, and, and it's a responsible group. And we're fortunate that you know while everybody was gone, they made good decisions. Do you have a general goal or goals for camp? Did you, a general theme that you told? Me no, nah, we're not we're not there yet. We're still doing administrative stuff. It's just let's just get better each day. You know, it's it's go out, have fun, enjoy your time together. Listen, pay attention, and, you know, and, and just get better each day. That's that, it's kind of simple here for the next ten days. How much of a luxury is it to more, have everybody back on defense? You got the solid <coughs> eleven guys. Well, we do. We got the eleven, but we also got some some great competition in the backup spots, and we got some depth. And uh, so, you know, when you look at Maurice, for example, who's just just made tremendous strides. That, that you know, you're okay with playing at safety if you have a problem. That gives us a comfort level. Nick, you know, Nick, Akeem, you know, the, the whole group, and even the rookies. I mean, we're getting a lot of good stuff. I mean, Martin Nafidi, for example, is, is really off to a great start. So we're, we're definitely going to, you know, as we say, you know, as you get better as a football team, you're definitely going to have tough decisions at the end. We'll do, we will have tough decisions to make, but we clearly have depth. Coach, what do you think of the young guys on the top of the line? Is he, is he, is he falling off as we pull? Yeah, I mean he's. Yeah, I mean he. There was no concern whatsoever with respect to to his rehab, uh, just because of the work that we did prior to the draft and you know and everything that he's done thus far. Uh, we just felt, in fairness to him, uh, you know the pu th pup thing, it just didn't make sense. You know, because you know, he's going to stand there and watch. And we want to we want to build him. We want to add individual reps. We we want him to be able to practice. He can practice against the defense, and, and you know if you pup him and you, you go in, into the season with him on pup, you lose him for six weeks, and so I think that's kind of an indication of where we think he is. I, I, I don't, I can't say if it's week one or week six, but you know we're hoping that it's somewhere in there. But I'm, we're not going to uh, take any chances or any risk or subject him to uh, any any danger. So, um, but you can kind of read the tea leaves there. I mean, I, I think he's, you know, I think we feel like he's ahead of schedule and he's a tremendous athlete, and this is going to give him a chance to to know the offense inside and out. You know, and feel good about what he's doing on a daily basis, rather than just, you know, kind of become that that outcast that they typically typically feel like when they're on PUP. You know, a lot of times rehab is as much uh, how much the player puts into it. You know, how much they throw themselves into it. Are you pleased? At, how would you say Todd is it is it? No, you could. Like, we couldn't ask any more from him. There's there's we got no complaints as far as what he's doing. He's really doing a good job with everything. He, he every day he comes in with enthusiasm and energy, knowing that he's just about there. You know, a great example, you know, for him is Isaiah. Isaiah's two months ahead of of Todd. And you can tell the difference. And Todd, Todd understands that the next two months are really, really important. So. Is Todd push, pushing the trainers to do even more? Or? Yes. Yeah. So that'll become a problem eventually. I'm, sh I'm quite sure. So. What do you think of the young guys on the old line? Then? Well, again, no pads. Um, I think Rod's, Rob's technique's getting better. Uh, JB's doing the same. All the, all the young guys are getting better. Um, you know, obviously Isaiah is behind. Um, he's got a ways to go. We're going to push him. Uh, but I, I think the young guys have done a really good job. So, and I have no reservation whatsoever. You know, when we line up for the opener, playing rookie offensive linemen, I mean, uh, they're going to get plenty of reps, and they, they're the best that we'll put on the field. So we've got confidence. And you know, just in talking with the defensive linemen, obviously we have a veteran group of defensive linemen. They. 
you know, they're saying, hey, these guys are going to be good. So coming from Chris and, and Will and those guys, that's pretty impressive.